right before Christmas, I was looking out the window and I was watching my neighbor, well, not my neighbor, but their landscaper was cutting their tree, birch tree down. And I had a bright idea of uh, asking them to leave the logs. And uh, after I came back from the dentist, they, and lo and behold, a bunch of about six foot logs sitting in my front yard. So I grabbed my dolly and bought the log and bring it to my ba uh, my basement. So today I decided to give it a try and mill these logs uh, with my bandsaw. I have a uh, Rikon 10353 and supposedly it, uh, it is, is able to mill 14 inch plus uh, capacity. Well, let's give it a try. My usual way of milling is flattening one side on my jointer, as you can see on my left. But uh, the birch log was so heavy that I didn't want to risk it. Uh, so I used the, um, the method that I saw on Woodcraft uh, by screwing a 2x6 onto the birch log instead and using that 2x6 to register on the fence instead. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. Uh, my 2x6 was not um, all the way uh, to the very bottom of the birch log. Uh, it's actually um, in the middle of the log. Um, you can see the mistake uh, towards the middle of, um, middle of the log as I'm milling it. And it kind of teeter-totter and didn't register it fully. Um, towards the end of the log, you will see the mistake, and I actually have to stop the milling because it was too dangerous. And when I restart, um, restart the bandsaw, it pinched the bandsaw so much that I, the the motor um, the motor motor was not restarting, and I had to re had to push the log back, and then um, I had to correct this mistake uh, before I could continue. I corrected the original mistake that I made. Um, so now for the rest of the milling process, I um, pushed the log through by having the two by six lowered and using that as uh, the registration point. Uh, as I push, the two by six is riding on the bed instead. Uh, for the rest of the video, uh, it's gonna be just music. <laughs> 